Sagittarius, your turn, yearly message. How you doing? Rules could be reversed. Shamrock Tarot, here to give you your daily message for the year. Your daily messages for the year. <sighs> Sagittarius, I feel like you just want to jump the gun. You know, just jump on that horse, giddy on up, and here we go. Sagittarius, which is pretty good. I mean, you're normally pretty grounded in your energy, so. Having that faith, you know, taking that leap of faith. Flower power. Spend time with flowers and flower essence to increase your personal healing power. So like, you know, when people are sick, we bring them flowers, same kind of thing. Um, you, you need to go back and focus on this change that you went through November, December. What kind of revelations has happened to you? Because you're still healing, okay? You're regrounding yourself. You're communicating with friends. You're seeing the truth and you are willing to change. But you still need to rebalance this who you were and who you are. Because there has to be a balance in between that, okay? So that your abundance can come in. Having everything that you need to survive. <sighs> Just want to like skip and enjoy and blah, you know, la 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 la. It's like so lighthearted that um, kindling spirits, that uh, your inner child, you know. So beautiful. All right, Sagittarius. Wow, the Emperor. That is talking about coming into your power, dear. Wow, love. January, February, March, April, May, June. June, July, August, September, October, October, November, December. All right, there is going to be a little hiccup here in your love life. Bottom of the deck, always be focusing on yourself and your stability and your longevity and success for yourself. There is an emperor here that could be you. I am wanting it to be you. I want you to come into your own power and stop thinking that you need somebody to have a household with because you don't. Those things come when there's a balance. You know what you bring to the table. They know what they bring to the table. And you can have a beautiful household together. Okay. There is love here. You want to offer love. There is somebody in your energy. But they're going to leave you upside, upside down. <laughs> yeah. Worrying about the past. And you're going to be stuck in that moon reflecting energy. And you're going to be fighting your ego this year. That balance, like I said, of your past, of who you were, and who you're become or who you are becoming. You're definitely going to be doing a lot of um, being alone by the end of the year. That You're not really soul searching. The moon again, will of fate, will of change, the will of karma. Eighty-eight. Moving forward. 
away from this person, they're going to leave you guarded and upset. So you need to start setting up boundaries about your feelings because your feelings are going to get hurt. Sun and moon, big change over your stability. So I'm assuming that you didn't walk away from this person like you were suggested to do. Okay, it looks like your higher self or you, you're still learning lessons about this energy, which is okay. Listening to your intuition. The moon is also your intuition. You will be coming to the truth and clarity that you are confused about by the end of the year. Heavily confused. This emperor, this person you've filled all this love to, something's going to happen. You need to walk away at the beginning of the year. They're leaving you. You're going to have to defending yourself, guarding yourself. You're going to be closing off your feelings. And then you're going to be dealing with that yin and the yang, the sun and the moon by springtime. You need to put yourself first, working on your own stability, grounding yourself, rerouting yourself so that you have victory and success. It's time to focus on meditating and resting. This person betrayed you. They keep betraying you. And you know that you need to cut them off. Here's that devil not listening to yourself, fighting that ego. Is this relationship based on what you think it should be, what it is, what you want it to be? Restoring that balance within yourself, controlling the sexual energy. Is it a sexual connection? Is it toxicity because you stay with them because of the sex? Once you pull back and stop having sex, it, it goes away. Those urges do go away. But that's that self-control, okay? It's called self-control. You cutting people out by the end of the year, by September. Here's that the, the Ace of Wands. Looks like you are going to make the choice to cut this out. It seems like it's uh, something about sexuality. You know, when you start putting your energy into other things, things that make you happy, that's a sun card, things that make you happy, you know, this relationship doesn't make you happy. So you put your, you know, your relationship dynamics into yourself, the things that you want to do. And it looks like you're going to be cutting tie on this person on this sexual tension energy. It looks like you're going to come to a realization that maybe it is about sex or this person is over sexual and that's why they keep going out to other people. And yeah, it's going to hurt. And so you need to go inside yourself. That's that hermit energy. Sitting with yourself. In this deck, he's sitting by himself. He's not soul searching. He's regrounding, rerouting himself to who he is, his aspects in life. Being truthful to yourself, releasing this, getting out of your head, you know, thinking about all this stuff that you are entrapped in your head about. Focusing on your friendships, your feelings for yourself, being truthful about all the lies is sneaking around. You know, this is going to take time. This is not going to be like, oh, September, you're cutting them out. No, you know, October, you're, you're soul searching. It, this is going to, this is taking all year. Okay. So you can jump in this Herman energy now. You don't have to wait till the end of the year. You could do this now. Seeing the light within yourself. Cutting the ties, you know, turning the tables, you know, take this energy, put it up at the beginning here. So then, you know, it will still be by March, by this solstice, you know, the spring solstice, you will be, you know, cutting all this out. Being truthful, clarity, truthful to yourself. Hard truths, fast, hard truths to yourself. That's that Knight of Swords coming in. Grasping the truth about this situation. These lessons, stop being so hard on yourself, okay? These betrayals are lessons. That's okay. The problem is that you're going to listen to yourself. You're going to put all these feelings back into yourself. All this love, all these feelings, and start learning how to trust yourself again. it's unfulfilled success it looks like some kind of judgment or justice has been been called there's the hermit again 
restoring the balance with yourself. You're overly giving and you're not giving, reciprocating that back into you, okay? And you're having a tower over it, over love. So you need to put all that love back into yourself. And once you, I'm like seeing like the big, like a boat going over a big wave. You know, once you're clear all that and you're back on track again. There's too much fighting, too much drama over money and stuff too. Stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. Success expands in your life. Far away places. Get ready for new horizons. Alrighty. Uh, if you have any questions, you want further explanation on something, I accept gratitude on my cash app. So you would just leave something. And then in your sign in the comments, you would just post your sign in the amount that you left. And I would... Um, exaggerate on what your question is so alrighty take care I'll talk to you soon bye